secret agent K-7 returns. number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. Here is K-7. Spies and secret agents play an extremely important role in today's diplomacy. Through espionage, aggressor nations often learn of troop movements and naval plans before they can be put into operation. Armed with this secret knowledge, Pirate nations have even seized small countries and set up protectorates, while those great powers that would stand in their paths are otherwise engaged. Such is the background of several of the unexpected moves that have shocked the world. My story tells of one such plot that failed. John Holbrook introduces it. Thank you, K-7. Recently, newspaper headlines have told of fleet movements under sealed orders. Such a transfer of battleships was recently planned by a great power in the interest of world peace. However, the spies of a pirate nation almost stole the orders before they were issued. Our story opens as a master spy issues orders to an accomplice. Hello? Chris Hunty? Yes? Listen to me carefully. I am outside the Naval Intelligence Building. Sealed orders for the fleet have just been issued. You have them? No. Admiral Gorley leaves with him in a few minutes. Bring the car here and pick me up. We've got to head him off. And start right away. Hurry. We haven't much time. A few minutes later, the two plotters, Fortier and his assistant, sat in their car a few hundred yards from the Naval Intelligence Building. Sealed orders have been issued for the fleet. The Admiral will leave the Intelligence Building soon and take the orders to the Naval Base. Then the fleet will leave. We've got to know where it's headed. What are your plans? As soon as he leaves, we'll follow his car. There's a sharp curve about a half mile down the road. We'll come alongside and force him into the ditch. You will drive. Yeah. What happens then? We'll get the Admiral into this car and take him to our rooms. If he is not out, we'll drug him. Hey, get ready. Here's his car. All right. After him. There were two of them. Yeah, there's only his driver. I'll take care of him. Leave him with the wreck. Speed up. Cover's only a little way ahead. All right. Pull along tight. Force him off the road. There's a ditch at the side. <laughs> Within five minutes, the accident was discovered. The Admiral's wrecked car and his driver were found at the side of the road. However, the Admiral had disappeared. At the very moment the driver was being transferred to a hospital, the Admiral was being carried into a house 
in a disreputable section of the city. All right. Put him there on the floor. He'll sleep for at least three hours. Do you think he's all right? Uh, he's just knocked off. I gave him a drug to make sure he doesn't come to before we got his plans copied. Would we leave him here? No. Wait until I get his briefcase open. Ah, yes. Here are the secret orders. We'll have to steam them open. And we'll copy them and take the Admiral and his orders to the hospital. To the hospital? Certainly. We don't want naval intelligence to know these plans have been seen by anyone. As soon as we have copied them, I'll take the Admiral to the hospital and say that I, uh, I found him in the road. <laughs> don't you see? They'll think the accident stunned him. Come on, get out the tap, brother. We've got to make a copy fast. the accident, Special Agent M was called into the case. With his assistant, Yvonne, he went immediately to the hospital to interview the injured man who had driven the Admiral's car. Dr. Reinhardt is wanted in surgery B. Dr. Reinhardt is wanted in surgery B. Yvonne, we've been here almost half an hour. Unless they let me talk to the driver soon, his information won't help us much. Oness. She's gone on down the hall. Have you any idea what happened, Em? No. The Admiral left the Naval Intelligence Building with the sealed orders. Ten minutes later, his car was found wrecked in a ditch. The driver had been struck with some blunt instrument. The admiral was missing. Do you think they were attacked? Yes, it looked that way. Now, I've got to get started. We're wasting time. Oh, here comes the doctor. Are you a special agent waiting to talk with the injured driver of Admiral Gourlay's car? Yes. Uh, can I see him? You can see him for a few minutes. Follow me. Uh, wait here, Yvonne. I won't be gone long. Dr. Reinhardt is wanted in surgery B. Dr. Reinhardt is wanted in surgery B. Dr. Reinhardt is wanted in surgery. Dr. Reinhardt... M wanted... disappeared into an emergency room down the hallway. As he passed from sight, a man entered the hospital carrying the admiral. Hey, get me, doctor. Oh, he's coming back up the hall now. Doctor? Yes, what is it? Doctor, this man just carried the admiral in. I found him walking along the road. He stumbled and fell. I put him in my car and brought him here. Looks like he's been in an accident. Mm, we'll put him on this bench. I'll call an intern to help me. With it. He was carrying this briefcase with him. I leave it. He looks badly injured. Oh, he'll be all right here in the hospital. Uh, you take care of him. I've got to go wait. now. Wait, wait, come back. Oh, he's gone. Admiral, Admiral, can you hear me? Where is the man who brought him in? He just ran out the door. Doctor, take care of the Admiral and see that the special agent who came with me gets this briefcase. Tell him that I'll telephone him here in a few minutes. I'm going to follow that man. <laughs> Yvonne ran out of the hospital in time to see Fortier's car turn a corner. She climbed into a taxi and issued an order. Follow that car that just turned the corner. Don't lose sight of it. Fortier went back to his headquarters, unaware that he was being followed. Yvonne saw him park his car and enter a house. She entered a small grocery store nearby and asked for a telephone. Yes, mademoiselle? Have you a telephone? It is behind you. Oh, thank you. I didn't see it. Hello? Get me to city hospital and hurry. Hello. Let me speak to the special agent who is there. Yes, that's right. Hello, Em. This is Yvonne. You know what happened? Yes. Well, I followed the man who brought the admiral in. His car is parked across the street now. Can you come? I'm near the dock. It's River's End. I'll wait for you. Hurry. Is there anything wrong, mademoiselle? No, no, nothing. Give me a pound of granulated sugar. Hurry. Yvonne went to the corner and waited for M. Almost as he arrived, the spies, Fortier and Grisanti, came out of the house across from the grocery store and drove away. got to get these secret orders across the border before the fleet sails. You have plenty of gasoline? Yes, the tank is full. Uh, then we should be at the border within an hour. Drive carefully till you're out of the city. Uh, 
A few minutes later, the two spies rush toward the border. Uh, dry pasta. This isn't a pleasure trip. I can't seem to go faster. You mean this car won't go faster than 40 miles an hour? I've driven a 70 myself. And the motor is not running well. What is? Look behind us. Huh? That car is still there. You think we're being followed? Uh, it is the same one that followed us out of the city. I thought we'd lost him. We've got to go faster. Gosh, you're out of gasoline, you fool. It's stay here. I'm going to run for it. Stay where you are. He's getting away. Yes, and I recognize him, Ivan. That man is Forty, a spy. Keep the other one covered. I am going after him. Don't try to move. Stay right where you are. Uh, why should I run? I have done nothing. He hired me to drive him. Your front fenders are damaged. Did he also hire you to run the Admiral's car off the road? Keep your hands in the wheel where I can see them. I, I won't move. Your friend, he's coming back. Alone. All right, Ivan. We'll go on to the next town. Forty had the Admiral's plans. I've got them now. We'll have to report to the local police. You shot him? I had to. I'll drive this car. You follow with ours. Em, wait. You can't drive that car. While I was waiting for you, I poured granulated sugar into the gas tank. I was afraid they'd get away before you came. You told me sugar would choke a motor. Yvonne, you did that? Do you realize that sugar may have prevented a war? If we hadn't caught these two, the secret orders of the fleet would have been known. And war would have followed. That night, the newspapers in a hundred world capitals called out the same headline. Fleet sails under secret orders. Read all about it. New agreement may be reached. Because a great nation's fleet thus got underway, it arrived off the coast of a country that might otherwise have been doomed. However, if its destination had been known before the warship sailed, this story might easily have become another black page in history. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.